Hello everyone, my name is Sergio Rossi, RF Application Engineer at ST Microelectronics. Welcome to our video tutorial on ST Microelectronics Blue Energy 2 device. Blue Energy is the family name of ST Microelectronics Bluetooth Low Energy Radio Transceivers. The Blue Energy 2 is the latest product in the family. It's a very low power Bluetooth Low Energy, also known as BLE, single mode system on chip compliant with Bluetooth Core. This video has been designed to provide guidance on how to use the Blue Energy GUI to perform some RF tests. For example, to send or stop a tone for transmitter spectrum analysis and to perform BLE packet error rate PER test using BLE direct test mode DTM commands. For additional information on the Blue Energy GUI, our user manual 2058 is available online. As prerequisite, the user must download and install our STSW BNR GUI software available on the below address. More easily, searching for STSW BNR GUI in the search engine, you will be redirected on the main page. On the bottom part of the main page, the latest version is available to download. Download the STSW BNR GUI clicking by the Get Software button. Unzip the package and launch the Blue Energy GUI setup.exe file. Wait until the installation end. Connect the STEVAL board IDB008 V2 to your laptop using the micro USB cable inside the Devil Kit. Open the Blue Energy GUI under C program file x86 ST Microelectronics Blue Energy GUI 2.6.0 application Blue Energy GUI. You will see a, a graphical user interface like the one reported. Click first on the port menu, choose the proposed COM ABC STDK and click on the open button. ABC are numbers that can vary from laptop to laptop. If the COM is not available, wait until the installation driver procedure will land and repeat this procedure again. Click on RF Test tab on the right. This GUI section is basically divided into main portion, transmitter and receiver. On the bottom part, the GUI shows sent received packet details information. On the top right corner, hardware and firmware devices information are shown. Let's see on the transmitter side which options are allowed starting from the top. Output power selection, check that high power tick is enabled as per default indication. Channel frequency selection, payload data length and payload data type selectors. Start transmitter button to start the transmission with DTM packet. Start tone button to transmit a single carrier wave. And the number of transmitted packet indication. Let's see on the receiver side which options are allowed starting from the top. Channel frequency selection. Start receiver button to start the reception of the packets. On the left the number of the received packet indication. For the packet error rate calculation, the user has to insert the number of the transmitted packet, same as the transmitter side, and the number of the received packet, same as shown on the receiver side. The GUI will calculate the pair in percentage. Now let's start a practical example with a single tone generation. To start a tone on BLE RF channel, connect our ST Eval board Blue Energy 2. Uh, EDB 008V2 to the USB port of the PC. Then connect the board to the spectrum analyzer using an RF cable like this. And open our GUI. Click on port, select the COM STDK port. 9 in this case, and click on Open button. Go to our RF test window and in the transmitter section set the BLE channel by TX frequency combo box. 
for example, zero in this case, set that x power that you want in the related combo box, for example, maximum power, and click on the start on button. You can check, for example, if the center frequency is correct of the tone and also the power level. For example, we are reading about 7 dBm, but we have to take into account the RF cable loss. Another simple example could be to verify the harmonics. So we can select, for example, uh, the start frequency of 2 GHz. And uh, as stop frequency, we can put 10 GHz. And now we can see the whole spectrum of the signal and we can verify the level of their second and third harmonics and the following harmonics if these levels are in, in line with the expectation. To stop the tone, again go to RF test window and in the transmitter section click on the stop button. Stop button is available only when a tone is uh, started. Now let's have a look to another example, the PER test, packet error rate uh, test procedure. Start PER test. So first connect to Blue Energy 2 platform, EDB008V2, to PC USB ports. Open two instances of the Blue Energy GUI on both devices, RX on right, TX on the left. In each instance of the GUI, open the COM port to the TRX device. COM5 for the TX, COM4 in this example for RX node. Ensure the antenna are plugged into the device properly. In the GUI related to RX device, go to RF test window, receiver section, set the RX frequency, we are testing the channel 1 in this example, click on start receiver button to start receiver test. In the GUI related to the TX device, go to the RF test window, Transmitter section, set the TX power, minus 2 dBm in this example, set the TX frequency, same channel frequency of the receiver, so channel 1, set length of data, 37 byte in this case, set the packet payload format, PRBS9, and click on Start Transmitter button to start the transmitter test. At this point, the communication between the two nodes is started. Just wait a few seconds, then stop the PR test. In the GUI related to the TX device, Transmitter section, click on Stop Transmitter button. The number of transmitted packets are displayed on the packet transmitted field. In the GUI related to a RX node, receiver section, click on stop receiver button. The number of packets are displayed on the packet received field. In order to get the packet error value, in the GUI related to a RX device receiver section, in the PER section, insert the number of transmitted packet from TX device in the packet transmitted field. Read this value from the transmitter section in the GUI related to the TX device. At this point, the packet error rate value is shown in the packet error rate field 0.03% in this case. This will end our second test. So, this ends this video on the Blue Energy GUI RF test feature. For more information, please visit our website at www.st.com. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Bye.